What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on this build that I've got going on. Uh, right now this thing is a rusty piece of crap. Um, a lot of flash rusting. So yesterday I finished and I cleaned the engine bay quite a bit and it started raining as soon as I got it outside. So I decided to clean the inside too, but I hit it with an acid etch. Uh, that way I didn't have to worry about flash rusting, but I still got to clean up all that now because it kind of leaves like this nasty coating on everything. Um, so I just gotta prep it just the same as I would for normal paint because that's the plan for today, uh, painting the engine bay. So I wanna hit the engine bay with at least a couple coats of primer. I may not be able to paint much more than that because it's probably gonna take a while uh, to actually get all these coats to cure. Um, so I'm gonna have to leave enough time between them and whatnot so I don't rush the painting process because it is pretty cold in my garage right now. Definitely not ideal painting weather uh, to be doing this, but it's really not gonna warm up anytime soon. And uh, I'm also not going to be able to like hold off on it for a really long time because I gotta put the car back together eventually. So that's the plan. And I think I'm also going to, while I'm waiting for it to cure, like in between coats and whatnot, I'm gonna pull this trim off that I've got going on here. Uh, so I gotta grab the doors too, but I'm gonna try to pull this off and then fill in the holes on the underside because I think it would just look better uh, with a nice smooth look on the car and I don't have to have that trim because uh, I'd have to pull it off anyway just to paint the car. So that's gonna happen. Um, we'll see, I don't know. I might pull one off and like see how it looks. <laughs> anyway, uh, time to pull the subframe out because it's just barely sitting there. I know I just put it in there like yesterday to like roll the car around, but uh, it's just one less thing that I'd have to worry about taping off. Um, and then I could pull all the brackets off, tape off what I need to, which there really isn't that much in there, uh, prep it all and then start cleaning and start laying uh, coats on there. Pulled everything off of it that I'm worried about getting paint on right now, um, and I'm ready to spray. So I cleaned it a couple times, hit it with some like pre-painting prep alcohol spray or whatever. Um, scratched the surface very lightly. Um, definitely not the best prep at all, I know, but it's spray painting in the cold. I don't know, it's not gonna be that great of a job anyway. And that's kind of like the wrong attitude to have with this, but it is gonna be a rally car, so I'm not too concerned with it. It'll look better than it does now, which is crappy paint that's all scratched and like random black spots and whatnot. So at least it'll be all one color-ish until I scratch it all off. Um, and then when I actually cut the front end off and I tube it, it'll look better because I'll put more effort into it and I'll actually like prep it all nicely and clean my garage and whatnot before I do it. Uh, but I'm ready to spray now, so I'm gonna go grab the paint that's in the house so at least that can be warm um, and it's not super cold paint that I'm gonna be spraying on the car. Um, and grab my mask and whatnot and start spraying away. 
that sit and flash uh, for like 15 minutes or so before I hit it with the next coat. Um, I'm not sure why the only etch primer that they had uh, is OD Green. <laughs> well, I'm going to open up my garage door, let this air out a little bit, and uh, come back after a few minutes and uh, hit it with another coat. Alright, so I'm going to finish priming, uh, hit it with this last coat, um, and then push it outside uh, because it's sunny and it's pretty warm in the sun right now. It's cold in the shade, obviously, because it's still cold outside, but I want to get this thing into the sun uh, so it can try to cure just a little bit more um, before I actually throw some paint on there because it's still cold in here uh, and it gives me a reason to actually clean my garage up. So throw this coat on real quick and then try to push it out, which I did just to undo the subframe so it's not gonna roll that easily. Uh, but I'm gonna try to just straighten out the wheels as it goes and hopefully that works. It's outside in the sun, which is like like 55 degrees outside, so that's pretty good. I guess you can't even see me, it's all blown out for uh, outside. Anyway, um, it'll be good to be in the sun for a little while. Hopefully it cures a little bit. Um, only got about another hour and a half of sunlight, so I'm gonna try to hit it with one more coat of primer. Um, I'm probably not gonna hit it with paint, so it could sit overnight and try to cure a little bit more. That way I don't have to like worry about it shrinking beneath the paint. Uh, I'm probably going to wet sand some of it too because I got some runs and whatnot because it was really cold when I was spraying last night. Uh, so I'll probably get rid of some of that just so it doesn't look too bad. Maybe that's a little better. Um, but while this is pushed out, uh, I'm going to start cleaning my garage because it is a mess. I got this in the mail. It took a long time to get here. We'll see how the quality is on it and if I even like it. Uh, so I wanted to be a little bit different, uh, but I'll talk about that when I actually show you what it is. So it is a rear duckbill spoiler. So ditching the 2.5 RS coupe spoiler, and I'm not going to like run like a version 5 or version 6 STI spoiler like everybody does. Uh, and want to see how this looks. I think they look pretty good with them on. Uh, I haven't seen very many with them on. Um, so we'll have to see how the fitment is. Uh, this thing definitely needs to be sanded and repainted, that's for sure. Um, got runs all over it, um, but that's not a big issue. I can just repaint it. Uh, I'm not sure how I want to mount it or anything like that yet. I'm not gonna, I think it would look good. Uh, kind of like the Rocket Bunny kits or whatever, where they're uh, not riveted on, but kind of like bolted on. Um, I think that would look cooler. So that's probably what I'll end up doing when I actually get into the bodywork portion of stuff. Uh, so I gotta pull that spoiler off eventually and plug up the holes for it. 
and just weld them up real quick. That's not a big deal. And then test fit this thing. Hopefully it fits well. Um, it was a pretty cheap eBay part though. Uh, it didn't come from China though, so that's good. Uh, it came from uh, Lativa, so <laughs> pretty far away. Uh, it took like a month to get here, I think. So anyway, I'll stop rambling, put this thing away, start cleaning because I need to get to work. I have not done much on the car or anything in the last couple days. I didn't get anything done yesterday after I pushed this thing back in and I kind of cleaned up my garage. So I'm going to finish off the paint uh, and finish off this video because it's getting kind of ridiculous. It's been three days. Uh, all I've done is the engine bay. So I'm going to finish this off. Uh, now I'm actually going to hit it with real paint. Um, so I'm going to hit it with a couple coats of white paint um, probably one or two coats of clear on top of that. It's a lot warmer today, which is good. So I don't have to worry too much about it curing. Uh, obviously I still do, uh, but it's gonna have plenty of time to sit. Uh, this has had plenty of time to sit and whatnot too. Um, so yeah, just gonna hurry up, throw on a coat of paint real quick, uh, so that way I can actually get started on some other stuff, which I'll throw into another video because this video, I don't even know where it's going right now. I kind of forgot like where I even started it. Uh, it's the drawback of taking so long and not really working on it throughout the week. Um, that's why I wanted to go to that whole system of I just work on the car one day and I show that day of work But lately I haven't really been doing much on the car, so it doesn't really work. So yeah, I'm gonna shut up now actually paint And it is all painted one color now. Wow, I already scratched the crap out of it. Um, and as you can tell, it's all dirty. And I'll explain why in a second. Uh, but it came out all right. Um, obviously, it's not perfect. It is spray paint, and it's not going to be very hardy. And I didn't do that good of a job. Now, on to the reason. Uh, obviously, I don't look the same as I did a couple of seconds ago for you guys um, because of the fact that I still suck at this and I somehow managed to delete a whole uh, memory card that I wasn't supposed to. Uh, I get them mixed up sometimes because I don't throw them right on a hard drive right away so they kind of sit for a little bit and then they get switched around and I don't realize it because I like cycle through like eight of them um, and I need to just dump them onto the computer and the hard drive right away and label them so I don't do this in the future and that's what I've been doing but been so busy on the car lately that I just suck at it. So yeah, lost that footage. You didn't really miss much. This video sucks, not gonna lie. Uh, I apologize for that. It's kind of a crappy video, but I got something done on the car. The engine bay is painted. It looks okay, as you can see. Um, no, the hood isn't normally like that. I know that's bad. If you wanna yell at me in the comments, go ahead. Um, but yeah, I was hiding something from you guys that I didn't want you to see yet, because it's not there yet. <laughs> You gotta watch my other videos before you can see that. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for this one. I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry for the crappy video once again. Um, try to make it a little better, more entertaining. I was super tired when I was making this video, I think, because like listening to myself while I was editing and whatnot was kind of annoying. Um, I just sound super tired and like talk is slow and very unenthusiastic. So I'll try to work on that uh, and put a little more energy into my videos and not sound like such a slug. Uh, so yeah, appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Uh, I gotta finish editing this video uh, and upload it for you guys.